never slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being in it's your final pit stop before the Judgment Day pay-per-view on Saturday night, September the 10th. Welcome to your Thursday night main event. It's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 51. And what a lineup we have coming to you right here this evening. In the midst of Judgment Day looming, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa will be in action later this evening against Ilya Dragunov. He made his debut several weeks ago against Sheamus in a losing effort, but Dragunov's back in action later tonight against Tommaso Ciampa. It is time for our opening contest here tonight on your Thursday night main event, and it's a little bit of tag team cruiserweight action. What a way this is going to be to kick us off with the exciting Wesley. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley. As Wesley makes his way to the ring tonight, his tag team partner is set to defend his Cruiserweight Championship against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable coming up on Saturday night. September the 10th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. What a Cruiserweight Championship matchup that is going to be. Ricochet has been atop the Cruiserweight division for nearly 70 days ever since winning the title back at SummerSlam. He's retained the title over Santos Escobar in that ladder match at Extreme Rules. And just a few weeks ago here on Main Event, he retained the championship over Isaiah Swerve Scott. Will Ricochet be able to get through Alpha Academy's Chad Gable coming up the next time we come your way on a live premiere event for Judgment Day. But here comes the Cruiserweight Champion of the World himself. The one, the only, Ricochet is in the house and he's ready for this tag team bout here this evening. And his partner from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! Ricochet, as we mentioned, been atop the Cruiserweight division ever since SummerSlam, but even prior to that event, Ricochet's been raking up win after win, victories over Lince Dorado, Kushida, Santos Escobar, like we mentioned, Legado del Fantasma in its entirety. Nobody has been able to keep Ricochet down the last number of months, and that is the reason the gold has been wrapped around his waist here tonight. Ricochet's got Judgment Day coming up on September the 10th. But as for himself and his tag team partner, Wesley, they're going to get a little preview as they are set to go two on two with the Academy. You want to talk about in the winning ways, look no further than the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, Chad Gable. Recent victories over Drew Gulak and Kushida, putting him at the top of the ranks to face Ricochet at Judgment Day. And once again, we'll be live on Saturday night, September the 10th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere event right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. You are not going to want to miss the Judgment Day pay-per-view. Eight matches signed. We're going to run down that awesome card later this evening, but it is time for your opening matchup here tonight on a night that will feature Tommaso Ciampa, one-on-one -on -one versus Ilya Dragunov. We got Alpha Academy versus Wesley and the Cruiserweight Champion to open us up. And Wesley is his second matchup since making his main roster debut just a number of weeks ago on main event as well. And where he went one-on-one -on -one with the Hurricane, an incredible matchup. Both those men taking each other to the limit. Wesley pulling out some... Very innovative moves that we've only seen himself do inside of that ring. And even though he was, again, in losing effort on that night, Wesley definitely impressing and earning himself a spot on the main roster and certainly in the cruiserweight division. By the side of the cruiserweight champion here tonight, 
Wesley's been around the wrestling business for several years, but is new here to the WWE main roster. It's his first time getting a hand on Otis in there right now. As the big man's heading to the middle rope, taking it to the air, and may have just squashed Wesley on the canvas. Hey, we got three cruiserweights and a heavyweight in there, but Otis moving around like one in there. Otis looking to do one good for his tag team partner, Chad Gable, here tonight. Helps soften up, I'm sure, Ricochet once they can get their hands on him. And once again, back-to-back -back time, squashing Wesley in the corner. Tag made, and another one, and the number one contender and the Cruiserweight Champion in here right now. And here comes your Judgment Day preview. These two men will lock horns for the championship on September the 10th. But right here in the midst of this tag team bout, we got a little preview of the pay-per-view as Gable takes the Cruiserweight Champion over and drops the elbow right down on the one and only. And Chad Gable, as we mentioned, recent victories over Drew Gulak and Kushida. After a rocky few months for Alpha Academy, Gable brings some good mojo back to the Academy. And he's looking to bring some gold there as well. He's got to keep down Ricochet. He can definitely scout Ricochet firsthand here tonight. As we mentioned, Ricochet's been unstoppable these last couple of months, even prior to winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Hitting a, a new level, excuse us, is the one and only. So Chad Gable, it's one thing to scout from afar, but to be inside of the ring with Ricochet ahead of Judgment Day, I'm sure Gable's going to be looking for any mistakes that the one and only has in his arsenal. And something that he can capitalize on, not just tonight, but for when it, the championship's on the line. And we get to Denver, Colorado on September the 10th. And Ricochet looking to do the same thing, scout out his number one contender. Victories over Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Ricochet looking to defend the championship yet again. And Chad Gable, let's talk about the scouting right there. New Ricochet was coming out of the way. German suplex into the bridge. And almost had the one and only there. Got him with the two count. And Chad Gable now. But continuing the offense on Ricochet. And it's just about scouting the opponent tonight. But as we mentioned when Otis was beating up Wesley in there a few minutes ago. Tonight's a chance for Alpha Academy to do some damage on the one and only. And vice versa. Any injury sustained during this matchup, so I'm sure, is going to affect the Judgment Day pay-per-view. And... We're going to talk about who's going to be on the winning side of things. That's going to bring the momentum to the corner of whoever gets their hand raised tonight heading into the Cruiserweight Championship matchup. So a lot riding on this tag team matchup on top of just the bragging rights of competition. Gable tagging in the big man, Otis of Alpha Academy. And this is where Ricochet's really got to be careful here. So Otis is definitely going to be looking to do a number on the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Big man in there with the smaller competitor. Definitely going to be using his size and strength to his abilities. As he's able to just pull the one and only in there. Clothesline him to hell, but there's Wesley. Ricochet making the tag. We're back where we started in this tag team match with Wesley one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Otis. And as these two men continue on with our tag team matchup before our eyes here on main event. Once again, Judgment Day coming up Saturday night, September the 10th. Eight matches signed, five championship matches. Of course, including the Cruiserweight Championship matchup, Ricochet defending against Chad Gable. The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as well. And the Bruiserweight Pete Dunn defends the gold against the man we will see in our main event later tonight. The number one contender, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. WWE Women's Championship will be up for grabs as Asuka defends the gold in a triple threat matchup against Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. The World Tag Team Championships will be put up in a Raw rematch from a couple of weeks ago when the Mysterios defend yet again against Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. And of course, in the main event of Judgment Day, the WWE Championship will be on the line all day. Austin Theory, the 25-year-old prospect, the new WWE Champion as of Later around here, going to be defending the gold against the rated R superstar Edge, one on one for the first time ever in the main event of Judgment Day. All that and more signed for that event coming up on that live premiere from Denver, Colorado on the 10th of September. As we get back inside of the ring right now, Ricochet doing a number on Alpha Academy's Otis and tagging Wesley back into this matchup. 
Wesley, we know he's got all the tools to be successful inside of the squared circle. A former NXT Tag Team Champion. He's held championships around the world during his days in the independent circuit. And now looking to do the same and build momentum here in the WWE. Now Wesley, beautiful maneuver coming from the top rope. Very innovative there. Dropping Otis with that DDT. Bit of an elevated maneuver. May have been a knockout blow, but Otis able to get the shoulder up. Chad Gable tried to break it up. Ricochet's in there, and Gable sending the Cruiserweight Champion up and over. Now Gable and Ricochet going to be continuing their fight evidently on the outside. And things may be breaking down a little bit here. Otis once again squashing Wesley into the corner. And a knockout blow. And that may be all she wrote. No, Wesley still got some fight in him. Young man charging at Otis here. And I believe that was a, a Superman punch or possibly a forearm there. But not enough to keep the big man down. And now Otis is heading to the top rope. Man, chaos in this tag team matchup to kick us off here on main event. They've been a knockout blow again on Wesley, going for the headbutt as Gable and Ricochet, you notice, are still going at it on the outside of the ring. Now Otis going to look to use his strength over the smaller competitor here in this contest, letting the blood rush to the head of young Wesley. Alpha Academy is looking strong in this matchup. And down goes Wesley to the canvas. Now a tag made. The number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Alpha Academy's own Chad Gable. Back inside the confines of this ring for this contest. Now Wesley in trouble here as Chad Gable looks to out-wrestle the high-flying newcomer. And that's definitely going to be Chad Gable's strategy coming up at Judgment Day. Try to ground Ricochet from heading to the air. Keep him on the mat. Out wrestle the Cruiserweight Championship away from the one and only. Ricochet's definitely going to have to use his strong suits in that contest, which of course are his high flying abilities. And Wesley, once again, going for that Pele kick, which he whipped out a couple of weeks ago against the Hurricane. Brought us all by surprise. Gable luckily was able to get out of the way. And that little sequence there puts Chad Gable back in the driver's seat of this contest. And Gable under the cover. Is that going to do it here? And Ricochet breaks things up. And the matchup rolls on here on main event. And again, still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa goes one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov made his debut from NXT UK here on the main roster a number of weeks ago. And he went one-on-one -on -one in the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus picked up the win on that night. Dragunov going down, swinging in defeat. And he'll be back here tonight to take on the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Tommaso Ciampa. A lot of writing on that IC Championship matchup for Judgment Day between Pete Dunne and Ciampa. It was about two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw that Ciampa shoving Pete Dunne off the stage. We haven't seen the Intercontinental Champion since. God knows the condition of the Bruiser weight, but for all we know, the matchup is still signed for Judgment Day. Pete Dunne and Ciampa for the Intercontinental Championship. And we'll touch more on that contest later on tonight. And the black car is inside that very ring again, going one on one with the former NXT United Kingdom champion Ilya Dragunov. As Chad Gable goes to the air, but Ricochet gets the knees up and he follows up with the Shooting Star Press. Chad Gable trying to outdo the high flyer, but the one and only had it scouted. And now bringing him in to the opposing corner. Gable may be in trouble. Ricochet whipping him off here. Drop kick sends Gable like a bullet into the turnbuckles. And tag made once again to Wesley. And Gable, wait a minute, charging after Lee. Able to take him over. Very innovative and creative offense from Gable there. Seen it a few times in this contest. Going to the well with what works. And he follows it up with a simple yet effective DD, or excuse me, knee to the face. So we're going to get into some late rounds in this contest. It goes back to what we talked about earlier about Gable and Ricochet risking injury here ahead of Judgment Day. Again, it's all about building the momentum for those two men tonight as they will go one-on-one -on, -one on Saturday night, September the 10th. Now Gable's heading up to the top rope. Wesley's down. He'll be looking for that splash he was looking for earlier instead of Lex for the elbow. May have crushed the windpipe of young Wesley. Gable looking good in this contest, grabbing a hold of his opponent, sending him into Alpha Academy territory here. Monkey flip. 
Wesley going for a ride. Chad Gable has held championship gold on multiple times in his career, but always been a tag team competitor has Gable. Former NXT tag team champion. Multiple runs on the main roster with tag team championship gold as well. Wait a minute, Wesley may have just caught Gable in defeat here, but Gable able to get the shoulder up at the last second and tag back to the Cruiserweight champion. As we were mentioning, Gable decorated tag team wrestler throughout his WWE career, but he's never held a singles championship. After earning the right to do so, he may be looking at a first time ever Cruiserweight Championship reign, but Ricochet looking to send a message ahead of Judgment Day. Make sure Gable knows that that is not in his cards anytime soon. Ricochet heading back in. Gable's right there to cut the champion off. And dropping an elbow right to the back of the neck. You've seen a lot of simple but effective maneuvers from Gable here tonight. He'll pick you apart limb by limb and out wrestle you and outsmart you inside the squared circle. Oh, Gable landed on his feet. Ricochet had no idea. Once again with that offense, nice takedown from Alpha Academy's Gable. Gable may have a, a smart aleck attitude sometimes, but we know he can get it done from bell to bell. Belly to belly. Takes down the Cruiserweight Champion and almost had Ricochet there. And imagine what the psyche of Ricochet is going to be if he gets pinned by his number one contender, Chad Gable, here tonight. A loss, but also taking the pinfall in this matchup could absolutely spell disaster in the mental game for the Cruiserweight Champion heading in to Judgment Day. A little tag team offense from Alpha Academy there. Ricochet trying to fight back while he still can. Nice kick at a DDT to the big man. Taking him down by any means necessary. Now Otis cutting him off. As we are in deep waters in this tag team matchup. What a way to kick us off here tonight on Thursday night's main event. Incredible tag team action between these three cruiserweights and one super heavyweight in Otis. You see the cruiserweight champion's days, the late rounds in this contest starting to take a toll on all four competitors. Shea not wanting to risk injury heading into... The Judgment Day pay-per-view as he takes Otis down yet again. Once again, tagging in Wesley. And we're right back where we started in the opening minutes of this contest with Wesley and Otis. And Lee has got something in mind. He's heading to the top rope here. Get a load of that corkscrew. And that may be all she wrote for Alpha Academy, but Chad Gable's in to break it up. And Wesley almost pulling off the victory there. A corkscrew from the top rope. Wait a minute, Chad Gable's in here. And Gable is not the legal man as he sneaks in, takes Wesley over, and Otis just knocked the Cruiserweight Champion off the apron. The sneaky tactics of Alpha Academy. And Wesley trying to fight back by any means necessary. Catching Otis up. Otis is down. Wesley is heading back to the tippy top rope, but you see Otis is crawling away, and he tags in Chad Gable yet again here. Gable goes back to the well with what works with that takedown. Picking up the opponent here tonight. Gable whipping him off, pulls him back in, and a signature belly-to-belly -belly suplex by the number one contender. Wesley's still in this fight. Wesley is not done yet. You got to give credit to the young kid. In his second appearance here on the main roster, absolutely showing up here and showing out. He may have just got his lights turned off by Chad Gable off that kick, and Gable follows it up with another one. And the knee. Chad Gable just absolutely unloading in this contest. I don't know what it's going to take to keep one of these teams down here tonight. They're absolutely leaving it all in between bell to bell. Wesley's down. What's Gable looking to do? And Gable's headed to the top rope right in front of the Cruiserweight Champion. And Ricochet says no. I think after that sneaky attack from Otis a minute ago, Ricochet showing he ain't a play to very dirty inside this contest. Gable better watch. He's in the face of Ricochet, but Wesley just took advantage right there. That costly misstep from Chad Gable may have just cost Alpha Academy this matchup here tonight on main event. Tag made of the one and only. Ricochet's back in. And once again, we go to our early Judgment Day matchup. And Ricochet's got Gable up. And he sends him down, face first to the knee. Ricochet's heading to the top. Gable, smart move here, crawling away from the Cruiserweight Champion. And a tag made to Otis. 
Otis is in. Ricochet takes him down. Gable rolling out of the ring. Ricochet tagging in Wesley, keeping the fresher man in this contest. As Otis has essentially become a part of a handicap match right now as Chad Gable is down and out. Wesley hit the ropes. Wait a minute. Pele kick. And he finally hits it flush in this contest. Wesley into the cover. And Wesley picks up a huge victory here tonight on Thursday night's main event. And that is not going to go well for the momentum for Alpha Academy's Chad Gable heading into Judgment Day. But Wesley in his second appearance on the WWE main roster getting his hand raised alongside the Cruiserweight Champion here this evening. Impressive showcase from those two men. What a victory for Lee and Ricochet. But will Ricochet be able to get his hand raised when the championship's on the line? Ricochet versus Chad Gable, one-on-one -on -one for the Cruiserweight Championship on Saturday night, September the 10th at Judgment Day. Some more news regarding the next Universe Mode pay-per-view Judgment Day on Saturday night, September the 10th. Two major announcements will be made on that show that'll truly shake the landscape of WWE forever. We're back here on Thursday night's main event and we are set for singles action for the first time since Saturday night's main event prior to Extreme Rules, Apollo Crews alongside his new heavy man, Commander Aziz, is in action right here, right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Commander Aziz from Bidway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo! You remember back to Saturday night, August the 6th, the night before Extreme Rules and the return of Saturday night's main event. Apollo Crews was in action on that night. He introduced his new heavy man, Commander Aziz, by his side, who once again accompanies him down to the ring this evening. Apollo went one-on-one -on -one with a debuting Rick Boogs from NXT. Crews picked up the win on that night, and then a post-match assault from this man on Rick Boogs, sending a message to not only Boogs, but the entire locker room that Apollo Crews was back in the game to step up, to level up, and get back to where he once was. A former Intercontinental Champion, a former United States Champion, Apollo Crews is a gifted competitor inside the squared circle. He struggled the last several months with getting his hand raised, he got that much needed victory on Saturday night's main event, but can he get another one here tonight? Hey, wait, wait a minute here. Speaking of Rick Boogs, look who's in the corner of Shinsuke Nakamura tonight. Boogs himself. It looks like he hasn't forgot about the events of Saturday night's main event back on August the 6th. Very interesting situation. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Shinsuke Nakamura in action here tonight against Apollo Crews, a man he has competed with before, a man who he has dethroned as the Intercontinental Champion once before. But the most interesting situation here has to be that it looks like Rick Boogs has aligned himself with Shinsuke Nakamura at least here tonight. Now this is a, a pairing between the two or a tag team between the two remains to be seen, but I think Rick Boogs has not forgotten about the events of Saturday night's main event back on August the 6th, and he's looking to be the company by Shinsuke Nakamura tonight and hoping to get some revenge against Apollo Crews for that post-match assault. Very interesting circumstances here tonight, but here we go on Thursday night's main event. The action continues inside that squared circle. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Apollo Crews. You gotta watch Commander Aziz at ringside, and of course Rick Boogs in the corner of Nakamura as well. 
Again, these two men, a lot of history with each other. It was back late last summer that Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental Championship, and it really started a downward spiral for Crews in the WWE. Nakamura had a long reign with that Intercontinental Gold that came to an end back on April the 11th of this year. He lost the gold to the Celtic Warrior Sheamus at Backlash, and interesting situation enough, similar to Apollo Crews losing the Intercontinental Championship, kind of started a downward spiral for Nakamura. Stringing together some losses, unfortunately, over the summer, but both of these men, at least in Apollo Crews' case, looking to continue some new momentum. Nakamura just going to find some new momentum here tonight. It's all about wins and losses, as we always mention, inside of the squared circle when it comes to getting championship opportunities, more money, more main events here in the WWE. You got to get your hand raised, and that's what both these men are looking to do here tonight. And Apollo Crews, is that about six German suplexes there? Just trying to knock Nakamura, or should, should say break Nakamura in half, and Nakamura get the knees up off that shooting star press from Apollo Crews. That's one of Cruz's best strong suits, is he's really a full package competitor. He can go aerial offense, he can go strong style offense, he can go the strongman offense. Nakamura, of course, one of the best strikers in the game. A lot of jujitsu and MMA in the style of Nakamura. The king of strong style, as he has been dubbed for many years. A former Intercontinental Champion, the United States Champion in his own right as well as a multiple-time tag team champion, a former Royal Rumble match winner, as well as a former NXT champion, is Shinsuke Nakamura. Apollo Crews are going to get to victory here over the King of Strong Style, but Nakamura getting his shoulder up. Still to come in moments here on Thursday night's main event. In our main event contest, Ilya Dragunov set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. What a matchup that is going to be coming up in moments here on main event. Nakamura continuing the fight to Apollo Crews. And you know Rick Boogs tonight. I'm sure he would love to get his hands on Apollo Crews. Tonight it's Nakamura. I'm sure Boogs is looking through Nakamura to get some revenge over Apollo Crews. It's a great matchup on Saturday night's main event between the two men. Tonight Rick Boogs made his NXT, or I should say his main roster debut from NXT. It was just after the matchup where Apollo Crews took things to an unnecessary level. Issuing a beatdown on the newcomer. Regardless here, Apollo Crews are going to get a back-to-back -back victory here in his career. This time picking up a victory over a more experienced competitor in Shinsuke Nakamura. And Crews heading to the top rope. Again, we said he is a very overall complete athlete. And look at his showcase out there. A flying headbutt right to the sternum of the King of Strong Style. And he could be going for a second one here. This time, Alex for the frog splash, and he lands a flush. And the cover he goes. Nakamura, though, still in this fight here tonight on main event. And Nakamura goes to the well with the kicks. And now the striking from Shinsuke Nakamura. We talked about it already in this matchup, how Nakamura does it so well. Apollo Crews getting the boots up there. Nakamura with the kick. And Nakamura, once again in this matchup, Nice German suplex assisted there. Able to pull Apollo Crews down to the canvas below. Nakamura looking good, but Apollo Crews knows he's in a precarious situation here against Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura starting to build some momentum in this contest. Crews not going to allow it. Back and forth we go here in this matchup on main event. And now Shinsuke Nakamura looking to unload on Apollo Crews here tonight. The vintage kicks by the King of Strong Style. And one more for good measures. And that may be all she wrote. Nakamura once again into the cover. Looking to get the victory here. And Apollo Crews gets the shoulder up. These two men laying it all in the ring tonight here on main event. What a matchup that we just had moments ago to kick us off. Ricochet and Wes Lee picking up the tag team victory over Alpha Academy. Awesome matchup to kick us off here on main event. Ricochet building momentum towards the Judgment Day pay-per-view. So a great main event to come in moments, but Nakamura taking the fight to Apollo Crews right now. Oh, nice kick by Nakamura. Apollo Days, what's Nakamura going to look to throw out here? Wait a minute, Nakamura! Nakamura! Lands and flush with the King Shasa! And that may be the knockout blow in this matchup, and it is. 
Apollo Crews may have got back in the winning ways on Saturday night's main event back on August the 6th, but Shinsuke Nakamura is the victor here this evening. And I'm sure Rick Boogs has got to like what he sees, seeing Nakamura stick it to Apollo Crews. I'm sure those two men got unfinished business to settle. But as for Thursday night's main event, the King of Strong Style is walking away with the victory. It is our next universe mode pay-per-view, WWE Judgment Day, a live premiere event on Saturday night, September the 10th at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And signed for that pay-per-view, a no disqualifications tornado rules tag team match, Rob Van Dam and the extreme enigma Jeff Hardy meet the disciple and the Messiah, Murphy and Seth freaking Rollins. A one-on-one -on -one grudge match between the Phenomenal and the Almighty. Bobby Lashley's got a score to settle with AJ Styles. Styles will have the original Bro Riddle in his corner, and the newest member of the Hurt Business, Omos, will accompany Bobby Lashley. The WWE Championship Eliminator has been taking place the last number of weeks on Monday Night Raw. And now, the number one contender's finals takes place at Judgment Day. The Apex Predator Randy Orton meets Mustafa Ali. Who's got more momentum, and who's walking out with an opportunity of a lifetime? As announced earlier tonight, two major announcements that will change the landscape of WWE forever are going to be made on Saturday night, September the 10th, live on Judgment Day. What could be those two announcements? The Cruiserweight Championship of the World, as we saw earlier tonight, will be defended. The one and only Ricochet defends the gold against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Momentum's in the corner of the champion, but will Chad Gable be able to out-wrestle the title away from Ricochet? The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line in a triple threat matchup. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, looks to defend against the goddess Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Two top challengers and an undefeated champion. Who's going to walk away with the gold? The WWE World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. The Mysterios defend for the second time against Priest and Dijakovic. But Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic earned their opportunity two weeks ago on Raw. Are there momentum in the corner of the challengers? The Intercontinental Championship goes up as the Bruiserweight defends the gold against the Blackheart. What is going to be the condition of Pete Dunne heading into Judgment Day after Tommaso Ciampa's assault and shoving him off the stage two weeks ago on Raw? And in the main event, the WWE Championship is on the line. The Rated R Superstar is looking for another reign with the gold as he takes on the current champion. All day Austin Theory will Edge take back the gold or will we still be living in the era of the all day Austin Theory? It is time for your main event here on your Thursday night edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 51, The Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa set for one-on-one -on -one action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa! We want to take you back to two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw where the Intercontinental Championship situation really escalated to a new and unnecessary level. A brawl breaking out, evidently in the gorilla position, bleeding out into the stage. And as you're about to see, Tommaso Ciampa taking things to, again, an unnecessary level, shoving the bruiserweight off of the stage on Monday Night Raw and down to the concrete below. And we have not seen the Intercontinental Champion since then. As you just saw, the matchup is still signed for Judgment Day. Tommaso Ciampa versus Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship. But Tommaso Ciampa has taken things way out of proportion ever since making his main roster debut the night after Extreme Rules. He won the Intercontinental Championship. He made his intentions clear. And he's done so by attacking Pete Dunne every chance he's gotten. And that has lead to Pete Dunne retaliating in several brawls between the two the last couple of weeks. And then, of course, as you just saw, Tommaso Ciampa up in the ante and shoving the bruiserweight off the stage. Pete Dunne, a hard fall down on the concrete below. And evidently, Pete Dunne not going to be kept down by no man, by no attack, and will be on his way to Judgment Day to defend the Intercontinental Championship of the World. 
But here comes Tommaso Ciampa's opponent here this evening. He made his main roster debut a number of weeks ago right here on main event in a war versus the Celtic warrior Sheamus. The former NXT United Kingdom champion impressed greatly on that night and he is set for round number two on the main roster versus the Blackheart in moments. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. As we mentioned, a former NXT United Kingdom champion is going to be a force to be reckoned with here on the main roster. And just weeks after that brutal fight with Sheamus, Dragunov is back in action tonight against another man who fuels with brutality. The Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, who's been on a violent mission the last number of weeks, chasing the Intercontinental Championship. But before Ciampa can get his hands on the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, where it actually matters most at Judgment Day, when the gold's on the line, he's got to deal with Ilya Dragunov here tonight. And this should be yet another fight for the ages as we get set for your Thursday evening main event. This should be a hell of a matchup, as we mentioned. And I'm sure Tommaso Champ is keeping Pete Dunne in the back of his head, knowing that he's got that Intercontinental Championship matchup approaching. And Tommaso, oh, wait a minute here. Tommaso Ciampa, drag it off. Watch your back, because Tommaso Ciampa doing what he's done multiple occasions and attacking his opponent from behind. Tommaso Ciampa not waiting for the bell, typical of the Blackheart ever since he made his main roster debut, attacking Pete Dunne from behind, ambushing Dolph Ziggler, and out doing the same to Ilya Dragunov. Tommaso Ciampa doesn't give a damn who you are inside of that ring. He is on a mission to kick ass and win championships here on the main roster. And whether you like it or not, Tommaso Ciampa has made his intentions extremely clear week after week. Ilya Dragunov, I don't think is going to like that very much. I don't think he's going to take that lion down. Dragunov getting back into the ring. Jacket and all, ready to fight the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa here. But Ciampa is unloading on his opponent here tonight. And dropping him with the neck breaker. Tommaso Ciampa coming out swinging, whether you like the man or not. Bleeds brutality inside of that square circle. Dragunov is in trouble just a moment after this matchup has begun. An attack from behind on Tommaso Ciampa. Remember he scored a victory over Dolph Ziggler a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Ciampa's been definitely in a driver's seat the last number of weeks. Let's see if Ilya Dragunov tonight can knock Tommaso Ciampa down a few pegs. Dragunov looking good on the, off that maneuver. The invincible Ilya Dragunov right now. Crashing and burns, Tommaso Ciampa gets out of the way, but Tommaso Ciampa's got to realize tonight that he isn't, isn't in there with any ordinary competitor. Dragunov held the NXT UK Championship for well over a year. And as we mentioned, he took the Celtic Warrior Sheamus to the limit just a couple of weeks ago here on Main Event. Really Dragunov back in action here tonight. Not a newcomer to the professional wrestling scene, but a newcomer to the main roster and ready to work his way up the ranks to potentially being a future Intercontinental Champion, potentially a future WWE Champion. Only time will tell what the future holds for the invincible Ilya Dragunov. But right now, Tommaso Ciampa is trying to make sure that nobody's talking about Ilya Dragunov and everybody's talking about the Blackheart. Ciampa with the big boot taking the man off his feet. And you gotta wonder what's been in the head of the bruiserweight Pete Dunn. He's been home resting. Luckily, no serious injuries, but obviously beaten up after taking the fall off the stage a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure Pete Dunn is just chomping at the bit to get his hands on the current number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. He's gonna get that opportunity coming up at Judgment Day. And we know the Intercontinental Championship is the sole focus. It will be on the line on that night, and that is the reason for Tommaso Ciampa's attacks. It really isn't a thing, at least we assume, against Pete Dunne. It's more just about Tommaso Ciampa taking advantage of who's the one holding the gold and putting his focus on becoming the Intercontinental Champion. But you know for the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, this goes further than just the Intercontinental Championship, which is oh so prestigious and means so much to Pete Dunne. But after taking that fall off the stage and weeks of attacks, you know Pete Dunne is seeking out retribution 
and seeking to put a beat down on Tommaso Ciampa on pay-per-view. Two different motives, two different men, but those two men gonna come to a head and come to a screeching halt. What I'm sure is gonna be a Pier 6 brawl inside of that ring when we come to Denver, Colorado on Saturday night, September the 10th. But Ilya Dragunov here looking to tap out Tommaso Ciampa and definitely put some bad memories in the mind of the black card. Tommaso Ciampa not one to risk defeat. As he's just coming up on that Intercontinental Championship matchup. And Ciampa taking down Dragunov with the neck breaker. You gotta wonder what the condition of Ilya Dragunov is. It has been a few weeks since his matchup with Sheamus. But again, we talk about how brutal and hard hitting that matchup was. Anytime you're in there with somebody of the caliber of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, you're never gonna be feeling that one for quite a bit. But Dragunov's looking good in this contest, taking the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship off his feet. And Dragunov's looking to pick up the victory here, and he may do just that over Tommaso Ciampa, the Ciampa. Let me get that shoulder off the canvas. And Champ, Champ of Age has got his night lights knocked out there. Excuse me. Alia Dragunov with the uppercut out of nowhere. Catching all of us off guard. Almost defeating Tommaso Champa there. The Blackheart, his momentum almost went up in smoke in the blink of an eye. As now Dragunov is really starting to feel things. An uppercut, two clotheslines in the corner. And the momentum is clearly in the corner of the Invincible One here tonight, but there's the Blackheart with the knee to the face. Now, Tommaso Ciampa, who looked to slow things down as Dragunov is looking to pick up the pace. And now the beatdown commences from the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa, so brutal, so vicious, so violent from bell to bell inside of the ring. Any means necessary is the motive of Tommaso Ciampa to win matches and get championships inside his WWE career. A backbreaker, a simple yet effective maneuver by the black car, Tommaso Ciampa. Now gonna whip the invincible one off and you see the damage starting to play a toll on Dragon off throughout this contest. Not able to hold himself up in the corner. A crash and burn and Tommaso Ciampa is in firm control of this contest, but don't count out the former NXT United Kingdom champion into the cover, no, into the bridge, not into the cover. And Dragunov has got something in mind, goes for the chop, Ciampa counters, Ciampa grabs a hold, goes behind, German suplex on the Invincible. And as these two men beat the hell out of each other in our main event tonight, we remind you, Yet again, that the Judgment Day pay-per-view will be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday night, September the 10th. Eight matches signed, five championships will be decided. AJ Styles versus Bobby Lashley. The World Tag Team Championships between the Mysterios and Priest and Dijakovic. What about the other tag team matchup on hand? The No Disqualifications Tornado Rules. Murphy and Seth Rollins versus Jeff Hardy and RVD. Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Asuka for the Women's Championship. Ricochet versus Chad Gable for the Cruiserweight Championship. Austin Theory, Edge. WWE Championship's gonna be on the line. And of course, Tommaso Ciampa meets Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Gold. Dragunov back in control of this contest. What a chop. Dragunov, one of the hardest hitters we have here on the WWE roster, across any brand, and Ciampa get it laid out off that back suplex from Dragunov. And Dragunov may just knock the lights out of the black card here. He's looking up at the lights of the arena, but still has got some life left in him. Dragunov heading back into the corner. He could be searching for that uppercut. He was able to hit out of nowhere earlier and may have done the Done the job for Dragunov, enough to get the victory, but may have just been a little too early in this contest to put Ciampa away, and Tommaso Ciampa, you wanna talk about putting somebody away, may have just broken the back of Dragunov here tonight, but the invincible Ilya Dragunov has still got life left in him. Dropping him right on the knees of the black heart Tommaso Ciampa, and I think Ciampa's pissed off now. Dragunov kicking out of one of Ciampa's best maneuvers, and now Tommaso looking to do some more damage. An elevated knee drop off the middle rope. Could be a knockout blow no matter which way you hit it. A 
Now, once again, just whipping Dragon off. And we've seen that a couple of times throughout this contest. Dragon off not even able to keep his body up off the attack of Tommaso Ciampa. But he's still fighting. Still heart and soul left in the young man as he takes Tommaso Ciampa down. Man, what a matchup we got here today on main event. Win, loser, draw for Ilya Dragunov. He is showcasing for the second time here on the main roster. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with inside of the square circle. Champa going for the neck breaker, miscalculates it. And Ilya Dragunov is in the driver's seat of this contest. A nice snapmare over the head. Dragunov's intestinal fortitude being tested here tonight. Showing how tough this young man is. Into the cover on Tommaso Champa again, and Champa gets the shoulder up. And you want to talk about Ilya Dragunov, how tough he is inside of the ring. You want to mention his. NXT United Kingdom Championship reign that lasted over a year. How Dragunov became the NXT United Kingdom Champion in the first place, dethroning the once NXT United Kingdom Champion Walter. A man that Tommaso Ciampa was unable to defeat in his NXT career. Dragunov, however, was the man to put Walter down. That's just to show you how tough Dragunov is from bell to bell inside of the ring. And meanwhile, Champa taking things to the outside here. And Dragunov's down, and I don't know if any man is going to be able to get up from that onslaught from Tommaso Champa. We know the Blackheart doesn't care how he gets his hand raised. Referee's at a count of six. Champa could be looking for the count out here. Referee's at a count of seven. Dragunov able to scrape his body off the ground and make his way back into the ring, but he's met with a knee right to the jawline by Tommaso Champa. But still the young man has got fight left in him. What a suplex there, taking the block card off his feet. Dragunov doing everything he can to defeat the number one contender tonight. You gotta imagine if Dragunov can defeat Tommaso Ciampa, that Ilya Dragunov's gonna be in line for a future Intercontinental Championship opportunity, no matter who walks out of Judgment Day with the gold. Dragunov once again taking Ciampa down. Bringing the fight to the black card of the WWE. And I think Dragunov could be building up for that uppercut for the second time in this contest. But Champa had it scouted that time. Dragunov eats the canvas. And Tommaso Champa, very tail ending to his opponent here tonight. And if Champa hits that move at Judgment Day, he may be right in the final tail of Pete Dunne's Intercontinental Championship reign. You gotta give credit where credit's due. The invincible Ilya Dragunov once again showing up and showing out here on the main roster. He hung in there with Sheamus. He hung in there with Tommaso Ciampa. He may be 0-2, but that young man's got a bright future here in the WWE. But the story here tonight is the black heart Tommaso Ciampa, your current number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion, walks away with the victory. And will it be, wait a minute, the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, in the house and attacking Tommaso Ciampa. For the first time since he was shoved off the stage two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, the Bruiserweight is here and he's issuing his own bruising beatdown on the Blackheart who did the damage. You see the shoulder and the chest area taped up with the Intercontinental Champion, wearing the wounds of all the attacks from Tommaso Ciampa. But we know how tough Pete Dunn is. He ain't gonna take one lying down. Oh, wait a minute, Tommaso Ciampa now. Knocking the Intercontinental Champion off his feet. As these two men can't be kept apart ahead of Judgment Day. I didn't even know Pete Dunn was in the building here tonight. And the black heart, Tommaso Ciampa, I think is gonna make the Bruiserweight wish he wasn't here. Tommaso Ciampa laying out the Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunn was looking for a measure of revenge. Oh, wait a minute, could have been looking for that fairy tale ending. I think the Intercontinental Champion's got something else in mind. Outrunning Champa, and may have just knocked his lights out with the clothesline. The Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunn, resurfacing here tonight, ahead of Saturday night, September the 10th. But who is gonna leave the Judgment Day pay-per-view? Your Intercontinental Champion.
game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.